I'm Peter Hollenbeck. I'm a professor of biology at Purdue University, and I have Tourette's syndrome. I began to tick like most kids do around the age of five. That was in the early 1960s. Uh, I was not diagnosed because almost no one was diagnosed in the 1960s. I had a very calm and intuitive doctor though who coached me, coached my family, um, convinced my family that I couldn't not do what I was doing, which meant I sort of had won the parent lottery from then forward, uh, and coached me to not focus on it, not be identified by it but to work on my, my strengths. Um, I became interested in science and in biological science, I think rather independently of that. Uh, and, and it's sort of an irony that when I was diagnosed in my early 30s, I was a neuroscientist and a professor at Harvard Medical School. For both young patients and their families, I guess the best advice I could give is to um, Try to focus on and identify with all the things that are working in your life, the things that are strengths, that are sources of pleasure, and not to let yourself be defined by your Tourette or, or, or by your tics. Um, but nonetheless, you need to be ready to explain yourself. You need to be patient with people who are uninformed. You need to be patient with people who, even who are being a bit insulting. Because a lot of people, um, when you explain your situation to them, uh, they come around and, and, and they do all right by you. I challenge you to forgive the people who are hard on you. If someone's hard on you, if someone's abusive toward you because of your tics today and you're mad today, it's their fault. If you're mad next month, it's your fault. You have to forgive them.